Now, with an acquisition and merger, I just finished working with two banks in Chicago. One bank was being acquired by the other one. One of the banks that was being acquired is over 100 years old, and they're going to lose their name, their whole identity, and they're going to be absorbed into the other bank. Now, it's a wonderful new beginning because it's going to be a much bigger organization, many more resources than they've ever had before, but there will be some jobs who go away, and also there will be some things that will change drastically in terms of things like losing their name. And so one of the things I suggested to them was, this is a tough time, and so even in that tough time, it's important to have some fun. I said, you should have a funeral for the old bank. You know, have a funeral, grieve and mourn because it is a grieving process. Uh, one of my clients, when they were going through a merger, created little coffins and everybody in the, on the team pounded a nail in the coffin to say goodbye to the way it used to be. Another thing that they could do and I suggested was to create a like a little museum or a shrine to the old bank and get all the logo things and all the things that had that bank's name on it and create a little place where people can go to remember that old bank. And so as you're going through any kind of a change in your workplace, thinking about those five stages, where are you, and knowing everybody has to go through those. So there will be a time of confusion, but you hold on to what's familiar, which is your experience and your skills. Those aren't changing. Even though the situation may be changing, you are taking those things with you wherever you may go. And my hope is that you will get to that point of commitment where you become truly a part of the new organization, truly a part of a new beginning, whatever that change may be. And that's when the new beginning creates such a beautiful experience for everybody because you've made it through the tough time.